Hello and welcome back to Hardrested Info. In this video, I will show you how to fully customize your Samsung Galaxy Tab S11. Let's begin. Early warning: For this tutorial, you will need to have a Google account. Uh, sorry, a Samsung account, and you need to be logged in into that account. But let's start from the beginning. How can we possibly customize this thing? This is almost fresh new tablet out of uh, the hard reset. We only have a few more applications and that's literally it. Well, the basics. We can hold our finger onto basically anything and you can move it around. This includes widgets. This includes applications. And this also includes the ability to, for example, remove something from our main, uh, main home screen without actually uh, uninstalling it completely. And also, few widgets can be modified. For example, the search bar is usually able to be extended to really, really high <laughs> amounts, which, as you can see, looks pretty funny. So, for example, I will disable, I will remove this widget. I will also remove this widget. I will make this. I will make this. And now, I think I'm going to actually play around with it, and I'm going to create. A little face because why not so now we can go here and we have a little face here is one eye here is the other and here is the mouth congratulations you have customized your uh, home screen but obviously there is many many more things to do like the wallpaper the, the icons the colors everything well Actually, let's start with the colors. In order to change the theme from white to dark, you want to navigate the display, and here you can switch to dark. I'm only going to use dark because my camera is broken and I want to relatively stay at darker, at whiter colors. But you can also scroll down into the home screen, and here, for example, you can increase the app size, you can hide the name labels, and also the widget labels if you want to. You can also change the home screen layout if you want to. And also you can change the grid to be even bigger. So here are some very basic uh, customizations. Also I would advise you to disable the media page. At least you're actually a user of it. Personally I'm not a big fan. I think it's, I just find it annoying. But if you want to, you can leave that on. So as you can see, and um, this is almost all for the customization part. But once again, there's so much more we can do. Let's navigate into settings. Let's go into wallpaper and style. And in here, we want to go into change wallpapers. As you can see, we have this featured wallpaper of this. So we technically we can set it up. And this is basically the base wallpaper. And here we can also customize not only the home screen, but lock screen as well. We can also move around the clock. We can also move around the widgets. And we can add new widgets or we can remove old ones. As you can see, we can even tap here to take some widgets to the left of the lock screen. And we can also change these shortcuts on the lock screen so we can go into no shortcut at all. Or for example, torch, which I find really, really useful. And also we can go into variations if the, as you can see, oh, the colors are pretty nice. If the wallpaper has some variations, we can also check it. And if you want to save it, you can simply hit done. So congratulations, you have changed wallpapers. But is there more we can do here? Well, yes. We can change the theme. And usually here I would say to, for example, go into the settings, scroll, oh, I failed. Scroll down a little and enter themes, but actually, recently they have removed that. We only have wallpaper and style, and there isn't a section for themes, which usually would uh, transport you into the theme section. And th from there, you could, for example, install a different theme with fully customizable icons, backgrounds, animations, and all of that. Actually, it's gone now. And to be honest, I have no idea where it went. You can search for the themes here. Uh, because you won't really find anything. The only thing you can customize is the theme of your keyboard, but not exactly from your whole system, which kind of sucks. So 
instead we can head into our play store and we can search for themes so for example i will search for galaxy themes but it doesn't really matter and also it doesn't really matter exactly which application we're going to use um, for example we have like these themes for samsung which has tons of edgy themes we have galaxy themes which isn't the application from the galaxy uh, team but we also have different uh, themes and icons I'm kind of surprised they've removed this feature and now you have to be really dependent on third-party software which kind of sucks to be honest I have no idea why why have why, why they done this there's this strikes me um, but generally speaking you don't really want to use that and if you do be careful about the ads however there is a safer way for you to customize your device especially when it comes to wallpapers yeah we can head into settings we can head into that wallpaper and style and let's go back into change wallpapers actually i'm going to quickly talk about palette the palette after enabling will change the whole colors of your of your screen we have the colors from our wallpaper but you can also go into basic colors and for example we can make everything green or this nice shade of uh, almost green blue I think I'm going to leave that yeah that's pretty cool so whenever we hit apply we can see that now after a moment everything should have these colors so for example we should have it right right here for example as the bars uh, it's kind of subtle but I really like it and every single enable now will also have this as well but anyway, we can go back and, for example, enable the palette to colors and uh, to icons. And now almost everything will have this palette, which is kind of cool. Even the Chrome has it. This looks, it looks pretty awesome to me. But OK, let's not like spoil the thing. Let's finally go into the wallpapers. And of course, I am talking with uh, creation with AI. You can play around with photo ambient. I do find this feature really amazing, but I don't really have a nice photo right now. So I can just create one on my own. Also, this also includes uh, the package of the AI with the Samsung account. If you are not logged in, you won't be able to use it. But here we have a few things. We have some imaginary things. We have paintings, terrains, different amount of stuff. I'm going to go into terrain. So as you can see, we have surreal beach and shades of silver. Cool. But we can go into surreal and for example we can change from surreal to realistic we can change the beach from uh, being a beach to every other thing so i'm going to go into hmm i believe swamp i think the swamp will really match my vibes and finally you can choose the color so of course the swamp has to be green and let's hit generate we only have to we also have to agree to uh, terms of conditions and all of that and we can finally generate some nice image if the wallpaper is going to be way too dark i don't think i will set it up okay that's looking pretty interesting but unfortunately it's not something what i wanted i will swap uh, from the realistic to surreal and i can just hit the generate again i don't think there's a limit for you to do it so we can just generate as many things as you can though in the case of swamp I don't think there's really much difference here yeah and the colors are pretty dark so we don't want it and you can just play around with everything I can go with imaginary and I can go for example with a surreal hmm, let's say UFO made of oh my goodness gracious made of wool in the shades of green and teal generate like this sounds incredibly stupid but we'll have this funny thing that looks kind of like a nuclear explosion but yeah we can for example set this as our lock screen so let's disable the home screen let's hit done and as you can see this is our of course we can only see it after locking the screen but this is our wallpaper and the thing that's looking pretty cool of course you can always just go into your browser for example the chrome browser which is right here and you can just search oh my little pony who would have guessed and wow this even looks like a wallpaper to me 
so you know what you want to do now you want to press and hold and simply hit download or download here you can open it and you can also set, set it up well let's open it with our gallery so let's open it with gallery and now we can set it up as wallpaper as well that's literally it or you can set it up as cold background even so i'm going to go with the lock screen maybe and you can also save it and then we can go and uh, create a wallpaper of that even better we can for example go and enhance it with some effects so we can have blur grayscale we, we can have different colors on it if we go back we can also have some different frames here which also looks cool though the fist does look kind of funny we can also enhance it with ai because now everything has ai uh, so the yeah oh that's that's looking really depressing sure we can go with it like seriously you can just hit apply we can hit done and here we have our beautiful lock screen amazing who would have asked for more and i think that's all for this video if you found it useful make sure to leave a like subscribe and as always thanks to watch thanks for watching and if you have more tips and tricks on how to fully customize your device you can always share them down in the comments below anyway thanks for watching and see you next time